Hey guys, I want to do a quick follow-up video to my video I put out uh, yesterday on the UTG 962 Arbitrary Waveform Generator. I just wanted to kind of walk through the software application that you can use with this product. And uh, this won't be a long video at all. So hang around. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> So I have the software loaded. Um, the software is uh, it comes with this follows an interface standard called uh, DSO, and I'm not going to get into that because I don't understand all of it yet anyway. So um, Unity, uh, the maker of this product, has other products, oscilloscopes and waveform generators and signal analyzers and so on. And so this program is somewhat of a suite that will let you drive their other products from a computer interface. Um, the product only works in Windows uh, is all I've been able to find. So anyway, uh, so in front of you here, and like I said, I want to keep this short, is our waveform generator screen. And this is, it looks exactly like the actual device does. There's not anything significantly different. The only difference is up here on the um, upper right-hand corner, we have an OK button and four directional arrows instead of a turning knob that we can push. And so if we go into our menus by clicking the buttons, I can pick my uh, mode depending on what waveform I'm on. I can select my wave forms. So let's change that to a sine wave. And as you'll see, that changed our output to a sine wave. Both channels are off. Any button I click is, is highlighted, as you can see here. Um, so there's the, the different waves. And of course, then for a sine wave, we can change our mode to uh, AM, phase mod, frequency mod, FSK, line log, so on and so forth. And that changes it just like it does on the device itself. Um, we get out of mode, we'll go to wave. So I did want to show you this because I, I briefly touched on it yesterday and this was one of the cooler features that I that I neglected to really dive into. Under arbitrary, arb, over here, when I click that, so now we have, if you look on the left side of the screen under channel one, it says wave file cardiac and on the right side it shows an EKG. We have about 16 different waveforms built in so I can go through this list. Oops. You have to select OK first. And then I should be able to go through the list. OK. I've got the right menu up. It's a little, a little different with the OK and the arrows than it works by twirling a knob. So over here on the left side where it says wave file underneath this, these are all the onboard waves that uh, waveforms that the device has built in and you can see we've got um we've got there's five on each screen and i'm i'm not going to read all those off you guys can read fairly well probably and you can see we have just a whole bunch of different ones so if i want to pick one i can up down arrow and we'll jump up and you can see samples of what they look like over on the right hand side of the screen and then the right arrow scrolls us to the next screen so on and so forth let's go see what a radar wave looks like right very digital looks digital and so on and so forth so that was i think this is kind of cool because this comes with like i said all these all these features built in and so we can select one and then of course for any of the waves down here on the bottom i can set any of the parameters i can jump to it and change the period in time the high and low frequency and any phase deviation i want to set so by hitting wave we go back to our basic waveforms sine wave square wave pulse ramp etc so on under utility it's all the same menu items that we have that were on the actual device uh, under system, same things there. Nothing, nothing has changed. This, other than the way this um, directional pad works, the software works exactly like the device. Uh, and then I can turn on a channel here. And when I turn it on, you'll see it's lit up. 
because I've selected it and it should come on and now it says on and we're doing a square wave with AM modulation. So, um, turn off the channel and there we go. So that is, uh, that's the software. It's, uh, it's pretty decent software. I'm not entirely sure how useful it would be to have your computer doing this for you. And I personally feel that I could drive this faster by twirling the knob and pushing buttons straight on the interface. But in reading the manual, I found that this device does support um, the same communications protocols that most oscilloscopes um, use as well, which is SCPI commands. And there's a whole separate programming manual for the waveform generator. Again, I think you're getting into functionality that is, you know, of little use to most people. You have to really want to be a scope head to program a waveform generator when I can do everything I would ever need to do from the, uh, from the actual device itself. But I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. In any case, that's it for this video. I don't want this to be long. Guys, have a great day. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And as always, um, give me a thumbs up, share this with your buddies, subscribe, and uh, hit that uh, bell so you get notified whenever I drop any new videos. Thanks, 73s.